this is my new home server and it's as simple as power ethernet and you're ready to go hi everyone i am very excited for today's video so since i started this kind of youtube journey i've been looking for a home server to mainly store these backup and like youtube videos and files and when i got a chance to review the zimmo board i could not resist this is kind of like a home server single board computer now full honesty and full disclosure because your trust is my top priority i did get the board for free however i'm not being paid for this video i will just review this and tell you my honest opinion let's get into it first we'll do a quick unboxing and then here you get the uh, power supply this is the kind of power adapter uh, you get different adapter for different countries um, so you're just gonna have to choose the one that works for you and then this is the so this board. okay now the board is out here let's take a look around and see what we have um, on this side, you have two 1 gigabit Ethernet uh, ports. There are two USB 3 uh, ports here, and this is the power adapter. Uh, the power comes in the box, the power adapter. This is the HDMI in case you need it. I'm going to remote into this, so I don't think I'll ever need the HDMI, but it is capable of up to 4K. On this side, you have a PCIe so for like expansion if you want to add anything uh, there are kind of like multiple expansion you can do uh, i like the giant heatsink and there are no fans so this should be very quiet um, it looks like since this is going to kind of like operate 24 7 i'm glad that they have this giant heatsink i don't have to worry about any noise that usually fans make uh, let's look at here we have two SATA and the middle one is just a power so let me see if I can get this to focus um, they do give you this cable by the way it comes in the box and this is the SATA and this is the power and then here you can uh, connect like an HDD, HDD or an SSD um, to kind of expand this for me that's the main purpose I'm, I want this to be as my own kind of home uh, NAS um, I want to back up all these kind of YouTube uh, videos and those large files can be very expensive if I want to kind of back up everything on Google Drive or OneDrive. So the solution is kind of want to build my own NAS or my own home server so I can have these backup on. Uh, there are three different versions of this board, by the way. There is 216, 432 and 832 this is the 432 the difference is like in the cpu the ram and the onboard storage but let me take you to kind of their website and show you all three versions and then kind of talk about the different specifications now we are on their website let's take a look at the three options that we discussed so they have zimmo board 216 zimmo board 432 this is the version i have and Zimmo board 832. Uh, like I said, the difference would be the memory, the CPU, and the storage on board. So for example, let's take a look down here. And you can see here are the models. The CPU, the dual core is for the 216 and the quad core is for both the 432 and the 832. The RAM, you have 2 gig, 4 gig, and 8 gig. I think that's like prospectively. So uh, this would be 2 gig, this would be 4, and this would be 8. Uh, the storage on board is uh, 16 for the 216, and 432 and 832 both have 32 gigabyte of eMMC. Uh, the rest of it is the same. They both have the same gigabit Ethernet, the USB 3, and the PCIe. They all support that uh, 4K uh, display, uh, the mini display port. So that should be same across the board. 
Now, in addition to the specifications, I wanted to kind of take you here and show you the expansions that you can do using that uh, PCIe. So for example, here you can add more like USB or there are different kind of cards and different expansion you can do using that PCIe. Uh, for me, I'm more, more interested into like the adding an external hard drive where I want to kind of have my own home cloud per se to kind of back up some of my files. Okay, now for the initial setup, I just plugged in the power and the ethernet cable to my router. And then from my PC, from a browser, I just went to casaos.local. And then it will bring you to this page. Obviously you need to be connected to the same network or same router in this case, because this is kind of uh, on your local network. And then you get to this page and let, let's click go here. Here we're gonna set up a username. So I'm gonna do text action, and then you're gonna need a password. So let's do that. It looks like you're done. And this is the OS when we first log in. Obviously I have not set up anything yet. Uh, this is just kind of the main page. Now we set up the account. Let's take a look at this operating system or Casa OS. Uh, once again, it runs on top of Debian, but it looks like here you have some uh, widgets here. This shows like the uh, date and time. This is the uh, CPU and the RAM performance. Here you have the storage. This is the onboard storage. This is a USB thumb drive that I added to it. I just wanted to see how it would look like. Here, it's shown the network status and like the kind of the internet connection. This is the kind of some uh, information or some like update. You have a search bar and then this is the app store where we can kind of add more applications to it. Uh, we'll do a future video where we kind of explore some of these applications and what they do. However, in this video, the main purpose I want this is to kind of have a, a home server for me to store my kind of YouTube files and YouTube backups. So what I want to show you is opening this file explorer and I'm going to go to the root folder. I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to call it share. I want to show you how simple it is to kind of like make a share folder that lives on the Zima board, then access that from like my Windows PC or anywhere on my kind of local network. In the future, I'll show you if you're interested, I'll show you how you can share this over the internet and access it like even remotely from like even when you're not home. So uh, back to this folder, I'm just gonna call it shared and then submit. Now this is the folder here. You would right click and then, well, let me, let me unshare it first. So this is the shared folder. I can right click and then share. And then here, it give me the path that I need to add this folder using. So I'm using Windows. If you're using Mac, this is the path. So I'm just gonna copy this for Windows. Now I'm gonna go to my Windows PC and then in the file explorer in the this PC, I'm gonna right click and then I'm doing add network location. Click next, select this, click next. And then you're gonna paste in that uh, folder location that we just created. Click next and then give it a name here. I'm just gonna leave it to the default name. We'll click next one more time and then finish. This add the folder and now for testing purposes, I'm just gonna create a new, uh, let's say text file and I'm gonna call it um, text fashion. So if I go back to this share folder, this is my um, file that I just created. So it seems to be working just fine. 
So a couple more things I want to show here is the account you have here where you can log out. You have some settings. Uh, this is kind of the software update. Make sure you're up to date. And here is the terminal access. Uh, since this is CAS OS runs on Debian, which is Linux based. So you have a terminal access if you want to. Now, so far I'm loving this. Honestly, this was very, very simple to set up. All I had to do is uh, power the board and connect it to my home router. That, that was it. Then went to the browser and typed in casaos.local. You can always also access it via the IP address. You would just need to kind of log into your router and see which IP address that was assigned to your board. If you don't want to do casaos.local, if you want to do like the IP method, you can just type in the IP address in the browser. Now, the setup was very simple. Just created an account uh, and then access this via any browser uh, remotely. I'm very impressed. This is very cool. I have a few uh, projects coming up for this board. One of them is going to be setting up my own VPN, which is why you should subscribe, by the way. Uh, the other one is going to be I'm buying a hard drive, like an external uh, hard drive that I want to make kind of into a NAS. So that's also going to be coming soon. And then I also want to show you how to kind of share this uh, outside of your local network, kind of like uh, through the internet and you'll be able to kind of access this publicly even when you're not home. Uh, this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.